Few artists have resonated across generations like Neil Diamond has. With over 130 million records sold worldwide, he's not just an American icon, but a global phenomenon. From Cracklin' Rosie to the Boston Red Sox's anthem, Sweet Caroline, Diamond's melodies have been a fixture in the musical landscape for decades. While Diamond's illustrious career boasts 10 number one singles in the US Billboard Hot 100, his recognition isn't just from the charts. He's a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame since 1984, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee as of 2011, and the recipient of the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2018. Even as he stepped back from touring in 2018 after a Parkinson's disease diagnosis, Diamond's passion for music remained undimmed. He promised to continue writing, recording, and nurturing new projects. Given his storied career and influence, it's fitting that Diamond chose a home that's as timeless as his music. Located in the plush precincts of Encino Bluffs, Malibu, Diamond bought a magnificent beachside home back in 2017 for $7.25 million. Overlooking a private cove in the small community of Blue Well Estates, just off Pacific Coast Highway, the five-bedroom, seven-bath estate was originally priced at $7.495 million. This this area is no stranger to celebrities, having attracted names from Daryl Hannah to Nicholas Keach. Built in 1996, the 4,692-square-foot residence embodies the quintessential California indoor-outdoor aesthetic. Its design celebrates the state's natural beauty, with walls of glass ensuring that the radiant Malibu sunlight illuminates every corner. As one steps into Neil Diamond's Malibu home, one can feel the opulence and true warmth of home at once. The entrance, bathed in the radiant California sun, provides a taste of the design marvels that await inside. Serving as the heart of the home, the great room embodies open, spaced, Luxury. Perfect for hosting, it's easy to imagine Diamond entertaining guests in here, with his timeless tracks playing in the background. The spaciousness allows for both intimate corners and grand gatherings. Neil's gourmet kitchen, from whipping up quick snacks to preparing elaborate feasts, this space marries functionality with aesthetic elegance. Adjacent to the kitchen is the formal dining room. Overlooking the azure waters of Malibu, meals here are transformed into memorable experiences. The backdrop of the ocean combined with Neil's probable choice of ambient music would make every supper feel like a special event. The master suite. Well, this room offers more than just a place to rest. The dramatic ocean views from the sanctuary ensure that waking up feels like a daily rendezvous with paradise. Beyond the master suite, four additional bedrooms, each come with their own ensuite bath. Each room is a personal haven, offering guests both comfort and luxury with views that compete with the world's finest resorts. The home's exterior spaces are equally impressive. This spacious patio is versatile, suitable for a tranquil morning coffee or a bustling evening soiree. Adjacent is the barbecue area, ensuring that gatherings have a touch of grilled perfection. The infinity pool blending seamlessly with the ocean beyond is a testament to architectural ingenuity. Next to it, the the spa provides a cozy corner for relaxation, all against the backdrop of Malibu's amazing sunsets. The ultimate luxury for any beachside property, direct access to the sand, means that Diamond has an ever-accessible escape route to serenity. Morning jogs, sunbathing, or twilight walks, the beach is his private playground. Neil Diamond's Malibu home isn't just a residence, it's a masterpiece that stands as a testament to a life lived grandly, much like his music career. Every room, every amenity sings a song of luxury, making this house a gem on the Malibu coast. Well that brings us to the end of today's house tour, answer this question for me before we go. While lounging at an impressive beach mansion like this one, which Neil Diamond tune would you want to play in the background? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and if you want to see more celeb homes before you go then stay tuned for our look into the properties of Priscilla Presley. Bye! At the end of 2020, Priscilla Presley sold off her Beverly Hills mansion where she lived for decades for 13 million dollars. The actress, businesswoman, and former wife of the late Elvis Presley then relocated to her current abode, a stylish penthouse in a multi-million dollar condo complex in Century City, Los Angeles. 
Way back when Priscilla first met Elvis, he already owned Graceland, the famous Tennessee property he bought in 1957. During their six year marriage, the couple did buy some homes in California too, including an estate in the upscale neighborhood of Homeby Hills. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. At the end of 2020, Priscilla Presley made some changes to her living situation, selling her longtime Beverly Hills abode, which we'll check out in just a moment, and downsizing to a stunning penthouse in the Century City neighborhood of Los Angeles. Priscilla paid $4.8 million for her stylish and femininely decorated new home, and it looks like it's almost European in style or simply like you're stepping into a romantic Paris flat. The penthouse, which spans just over 3,200 square feet of space, was built in 1979, but had a full-scale interior renovation done in recent years by KMN Nelson Design. The European contemporary penthouse, as it was described in the listing, is located in Le Parc, which is a gated complex of multi-million dollar condos. While the former wife of Elvis Presley has lived in some stunning homes over her lifetime, this one is no different, and it looks like the ideal space for a woman with class like Priscilla. The romantic and girly design throughout the condo includes pale pink walls, pink velvet couches, and other colors like blues, lilacs, and pretty wallpaper. There are also three bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms. The common rooms at Priscilla's pad have white oak hardwood underfoot, and there's also a front foyer that connects to the main living room. This pink walled room is dreamy to say the least, and there are features here like a white stone fireplace and a tucked away and chic wet bar in one corner. Nearby rooms include the formal dining room, which opens up to a balcony and a casual style den with entertainment features like an upgraded sound system. There's also a fresh looking open plan kitchen that's done up in all white with marble finishing and top of the line Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances, making her kitchen look pretty glamorous. There's one powder room in the condo, while all three of the bedrooms have their own ensuite baths too. Priscilla's master suite is definitely the nicest of all, featuring a crystal chandelier in the bedroom, as well as a luxury attached bath covered in marble. There's also dual vanities here, a makeup station, a steam shower, and skylights overhead. Considering this isn't your average condo complex, residents of Le Parc, including Miss Presley, have to pay about $2,900 per month in condo fees. This price provides Priscilla with access to all the amenities here, including two private parking spots, 24-7 guard-gated security, a swimming pool, tennis courts, and a clubhouse. On top of her penthouse, there's also a rooftop terrace with pool and garden views. In December 2020, Priscilla Presley sold her longtime estate in Beverly Hills, where she had lived for decades, an Italian-style villa she purchased a few years after her divorce from Elvis. The ex-couple had an amicable relationship after their split, and they wanted to live close to each other to make it easier for him to visit their daughter, the late Lisa Marie Presley. Elvis lived close by in Homeby Hills at the time. Priscilla listed the sprawling, private one-acre estate for $16 million initially, but after a price drop, she sold it a few months later for $13 million, which was still a great profit. The opulent abode spanned nearly 9,000 square feet of space inside along with seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and a handful of amazing amenities. According to the listing description, nearly every room opens out to lush gardens, terraces, and rolling lawns. And sitting on prime real estate in the 90210 area, the property sure is a treat, further being gated and secured to give residents the ultimate privacy. Priscilla's former home was built back in 1951 and updated since while being meticulously cared for over the years. Past the exterior of the home, which is draped in vines, there are common rooms featuring high, vaulted ceilings with exposed wood beams and dark hardwood floors underneath. A formal living room features an elegant fireplace front and center as well as front doors out to the yard. There's also a formal dining room with an old world charm and a crystal chandelier above, while a more casual dining nook is set nearby. 
Another sitting room features wood paneled walls, a massive fireplace, and cozy furnishings, while the mansion's main staircase seems to wind up high towards the upper level, also offering double height ceilings and another chandelier. I love the charming and glam interiors of this home, so I can imagine it was so hard for Priscilla to let it go. Other grand features throughout the home included the master suite, which boasted yet another chandelier in the bedroom, more beam ceilings, a fireplace, and a private balcony. There was also an attached bath with an oversized sunken tub, sitting area, shower stall, and vanity. Outside, the residence was decked out with multiple gardens and lush greenery, as well as terraces and patios to relax on and stone walkways, all adding to the beauty. There were even fountains and other romantic touches outside, like an outdoor fireplace and covered seating. Finally, Priscilla's property was complete with a tennis court and a large swimming pool out back. In September 2020, a home where Priscilla and Elvis once lived together ended up selling for just over $29 million. Located in the exclusive Platinum Triangle area of Los Angeles on the border of Beverly Hills and Homby Hills. After Priscilla and Elvis split in the early 70s, she continued to live in this home for three years with Lisa Marie. The recent sale, which went for $29.3 million, included the main house, a 144 Monoville Drive, and this is the 1.6 acre parcel of land where the Presleys lived, as well as the neighboring 120 Monoville Drive, a 0.75 acre parcel of land. Since the Presleys lived here, the home has underwent several renovations. The seven bedroom main house now boasts a Tudor style facade with leaded glass windows, archways, and a high pitched roof. The property also boasts a dual tennis basketball court plus a pool, two guest houses, and a garage. At the end of 2022, Elvis and Priscilla Presley's one-time honeymoon home popped back up on the market for $5.6 million. Back in 1967, the king of rock and roll enjoyed married life with his new bride Priscilla in this Palm Springs, California home. The Presleys couldn't help falling in love with this unique mid-century modern spread which was dubbed The House of Tomorrow by Look Magazine in 1962. Elvis and Priscilla honeymooned at this 4,695 square foot property for a year after their wedding, costing them a total of $21,000. Inside this futuristic looking house boasts four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and other bonuses like an at-home spa. The William Crissell designed home has a spaceship-like interior and was considered ahead of its time when it was built in 1960. Its interesting amenities include an indoor kitchen grill, vacuum ports, and wall-mounted radios. Four circular stones lead to the textured front doors, and inside the main living room features a stone wall lined with built-in seating facing directly towards the fireplace and floating earth. The dining room of the home sits on an elevated platform overlooking the living area, while views of the mountains and palm trees can be taken in through the floor-to-ceiling glass walls. The kitchen includes a massive hood over the oval-shaped center island that offers a five built-in burners and a second living space with a fireplace sits next to the kitchen. Upstairs, the master bedroom reveals endless windows along a curved wall, showing off the mountains and landscape. Then, the primary bath has double sinks aligning the walls as well as a generously sized bathtub. Outside of Priscilla's former honeymoon home, the irregularly shaped pool is equipped with a hot tub and surrounded by a patio with plenty of room for lounging. While we've looked at a few of Priscilla Presley's properties for a look at Graceland where she also lived for many years, be sure to check out our Lisa Marie Presley house tour or our Elvis house tour. For now, that's gonna wrap up today's video. But before we go, answer this question. Would you be down to live in that futuristic honeymoon house Priscilla and Elvis once called home? Why or why not? Let's hear if you like that unique property or had another opinion and be sure to leave your condolences for the Presley family in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss an episode. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.